This is basically the age of oracles. We can now interact with intelligence and we can just ask anything we want. My name is Pietro. I'm a designer and developer, and I'm the CEO of Magic Path, and it's a design tool with AI at the center. I have this philosophy that nothing is real until it's in people's hands. What I really care about is the interaction. The special thing about GPT-5, it is the closest model that I experienced to actually get your ideas. One of the many applications that I built with GPT-5 when I was testing the model, I asked uh, for basically a camera app where I can draw in real time in the air, and he has sense of my end movement. We have the canvas in a, in a, in a camera. We have our hand tracking movement, which is pretty crazy. You know, you can just like resize the size of the brush just by doing this. When I open my palm, and if I close the palm, the palette goes down. GPT-5 just like did this uh, in one shot. And I think in particular with GPT-5, the things that really struck me the first time that I use it is that innate sense of creativity and taste. I asked GPT-5 to create a beautiful infinite canvas app where I can drag and drop photos, text file, and website all in one file. It was the choose of spacing, typography, uh, rhythm, the framing. It was really like I was talking to a designer. A lot of times, you can be a great engineer, but you might suck at debugging. GPT-5 excels at it. It actually returns a large, larger amount of code compared to other models, and it's actually coherent code. And when you combine speed, intelligence, reasoning, tool calling, understanding, everybody now is gonna get access to the best intelligence. It's gonna be great to see like, what people are gonna be able to do with this.